Minnesota has a vibrant Asian community and Wednesday marks the beginning of the new year in Lao, Thai and Cambodian cultures. The celebrations filled with luck and hopefulness, which I think is something we all need about right now. Belle, she connected with one of my favorite chefs, Anne Ahmed of Lat 14 in Lemongrass to see what's cooking for the occasion. What is so wonderful to be in your kitchen. I've had a chance to eat at one of your two restaurants and I love it. And I love the fact that it's across the street from Care 11, Lat 14. Congratulations on both your restaurants. Well, thank you. And I'm so excited to be, you know, cooking for you on, in, kind of in the studio. All right. So Lemongrass and Lat 14 are your two restaurants. And we have a very big celebration coming up in the next week. Tell us about the new year, the Laos New Year. Yes. So um, the Laos New Year is based on the ancient Hindu calendar and it's pretty much a Buddhist festival and so um, we will be celebrating Lao New Year starting April 13th and the celebration usually is about like three to four days and sometimes in certain parts of Laos it could go on for a week or so. And so you said it is like most celebrations it's about food but there's also a water fight so tell me about the water fight. So the water fight usually happens at the beginning of the celebration the first day and then it keeps going on every day every hour. Um, so basically what it is it's, you know, like the in our um, Lao culture, we believe that by splashing water on one another, it kind of washes all of the bad things from the previous year away and you have a new beginning. So that's why it's like, you know, you just instead of being mad at somebody, you're grateful because they splash you with water and they claim you. Um, but, you know, it's it's a wild celebration. Laos is just a magical country, so. Yeah, so refreshing. Such a unique uh, celebration. I love it. And the pictures are great. Thank you for sharing those with us from your last trip. Okay, let's talk about this feast, this food that goes through the four days. Tell me what you have in front of you there. Yeah, this is probably only a tiny fraction of what I really wanted to show today, but it's kind of like the time of the year where you get to eat all your fragrance. You know, you'll want to tell, you know, ask your grandma to make this, ask your auntie to make that, and everybody kind of just brings all the best of the best to celebrate. Um, but the one dish that I wanted to focus on for today's show was um, the mushroom lop. And the reason why I chose lop is because, you know, lop became known as the unofficial um, dish of Laos. And it has a meaning to it in terms of like, uh, you know, we cook this for visitors or we cook this for celebrations because we always want to wish luck and prosperity um, to those that come and join us for a meal. And so that's why lop is such an important dish for us. Um, and I wanted to kind of, you know, give you a recipe for something that's quick and easy that you can make at home. Okay. And this one is um, a mushroom version, so it's completely vegan. So the first thing you want to start off with is you're going to take like just, you know, a variety of mushrooms, whatever that you prefer or you like. Um, so what you want to do is cut that up into like pieces that are kind of relatively, relatively similar in size so that they'll cook evenly. And then what you'll do is you'll throw it in the oven with some um, olive oil and salt and toss it into an oven for 450 degrees. Okay. Um, and then what you could do with this stems when you pick up you don't want to toss it you can make a mushroom stock out of that so that's what I did while I was roasting this as well I got mushroom stock out of that and okay. we're going to use that for our lot so once it comes out you want it to allow it some time to cool now we're going to add some lime juice to this and then we're going to add some Thai chilies and some lemongrass I love lemongrass. Oh my goodness, such a flavor. So then we're going to add um, some of our vegan fish sauce. And it's it's just like salt. So that's how you'll kind of eyeball that. So, you know, like I would put a little bit at a time and then give it a taste and then see how you like it. And then once you got this all mixed in, you're going to add your rice powder. And then we're going to toss some of our fresh mints in. Wow, what flavors, my goodness. So, and you're gonna just go ahead and put it on the serving plate here. And then we're gonna serve it with some cucumbers and lettuce leaves. And obviously, for sure, you can't forget about the sticky rice. So I wanna make sure you get some sticky rice with this. And this is our mushroom lot. That's beautiful, my goodness. Oh my gosh, that's just fantastic. And you know what? Congratulations on everything that you've been through over the last year and a half. I know it's been just tumultuous for so many restaurant owners and chefs. So congratulations that you've gotten to the other side. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us this morning.
Yes. Well, Happy New Year, Belinda.